Hey, Blizzard, good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Doug Burke, and this is going to be the next MLB videos we talk about. The Nationals getting Steve Cichek, and also them having one of the more under-the-radar relief pitcher signing in Carl Edwards Jr., who has had a solid big league career. It started off really solid for the Cubbies. Hasn't been able to find the same success since. Uh, for Carl Edward Jr., we'll start there. Uh, he goes by a four-seamer and curveball combination. His four-seamer can tick up to 95-96, and his curve is more like usually 75 to, to 79, even 80 sometimes when it plays a little bit more like a slurve pitch. He's somebody, maybe if he takes a little bit off of the curveball, makes it a little bit more of a drop one or mixes in one that's more of a slurve with a drop one, he'll be a little bit more consistently successful. Again, started off his career great, hasn't been as consistent since, but still is a guy that has the stuff. Maybe he can put it together for the Nationals. But let's get into now the primary guy they got, which is a guy that's been throughout his entire career, one of the better relief pitchers that just isn't talked about in the game of baseball. He has almost 700 games. And under a 3 ERA is a relief pitcher. And that side armor, Steve Cichek, who they were able to pick up on a very cheap deal, only 1.75. I'm, I'm actually shocked a contending team that was – because the Nationals are like a middle end. I don't think they're going to compete all too much for the division this year whatsoever because you got the Phillies, you got the Mets especially, and you got the Braves especially. So I think those teams and even the Marlins – with what they're doing, might even stack up ahead of the Nationals. But this is a good move for them because they're bringing in a top-notch throughout his career reliever. Yes, he's 35 now, but the thing with him is he relies primarily on a sinker, a slider combination, and then mixes in a little bit of four-seamer and then rarely throws a change. So he's not a velo guy. So even though he's aging, Cichek is a guy like he had a mid-threes ERA. He's a guy that would profile his price, but that could continue to do that. Because he's never relied on Velo, where Carl Edwards Jr. is a guy that relies on Velo and a guy you got to get back into control in the strike zone to be successful. But in conclusion, I think this is a very good signing for the Nationals because, again, he might be aging, but he's a guy that's been very good under three RA his entire career, very good control of the strike zone, very good double play guy, and even has had closing experience as well. So you can use him in all different facets of the game if you're a team like the Nationals that need to fill out that bullpen. And lastly, he's a good trade ship if you're a team like the Nationals because they're not likely to be in contention at the deadline. And they can use him to move to a contending team that probably should have been interested in him already. But then if they see him have a good first half, they can then go out and get a Steve Shishak who they barely have to pay anything for the rest of the contract for the rest of the year. And then they have a very good veteran relief pitcher that gets it done. But this has been a video on Steve Shishak signing the Nationals for $1.75 million for one year. And also them having one of the better under-the-radar moves of the offseason in Carl Edwards Jr. If they can get the fastball and curveball combination Edwards Jr. back to being consistent. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Stay safe out there, everybody. And we're close to having baseball Back March 17th, spring training, April 7th, opening day. Peace out, everybody.